Ni hao. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Tosi here. If you are new, welcome. Click on the subscribe button. It's red, it's written subscribe and it's free subscribe. Whew. It is free to subscribe. Guys, join my small YouTube family. Let's grow together. Let's learn Chinese together and you know share knowledge about life and everything that is there to learn. Yes. First of all, let me say that we all need to take care of ourselves at this time, take care of your loved ones, protect yourself from the coronavirus. Um, let your people wash their hands, wear masks, just stay, stay, stay safe generally. Good. So with that, and without getting into too much stories, let's get into today's content, which is sharing Chinese vocabularies and some phrases that will help you in your daily communication with Chinese people or with your people who speak Chinese. Let's get into it. Now, many people confuse these three, me, you, he or she. Let's clarify this and put it to rest. War. War. Ni. Ta. War. Ni. Ta. Good. That is war is me. Ni is you. Ta is he or she. The characters are different, but the pinyin is the same for both male and female. Good. So I hope you get it and don't confuse while you want to refer to yourself. Wo shi tosi ni shi ni shi she. Comment below. Tell me your name in Chinese if you have any. And if you don't have any, want to have one, let me also know so that I can give you one in Chinese. Good. Can you give this video a thumbs up so that? YouTube can recommend it to other people also who want to learn Mandarin Chinese and share it with your people if you like this type of content and if you don't let me know what you want to see more on this channel also good so those three let's learn some sentences that you can use in your daily life to, to express yourself for example I like apples. Wo shi huan ping guo. Wo shi huan ping guo. Ping guo is apples. Shi huan like wo is me. Wo shi huan ping guo. It starts with a bigger subject. Your sentence structures should always start with a bigger subject. Yes, and that is definitely you liking the apples. Good. So normally it is the subject and then the verb and then object. I hope you get what I mean. Good. Then ni let's say you are watching my videos. Ni Zai Kan Wada Shipping. Ni Zai Kan Wada Shipping. You are watching. It is at this moment. That's why these are Zai. Ni Zai Kan Wada Shipping. Shipping is video. Kan. Kan is look actually. But now we use it to generalize everything that your eyes do can good and then let's see what he or she is doing ta zai shui jiao he is sleeping she is sleep <laughs> sleeping goodness sorry she is sleeping Ta zai shui jia. Go to my Mandarin with Tosi blog post. 
to read the characters and the pinyin, I'll leave the link in the description box for ease of referencing. You can open this video in one tab, open the Mandarin with Tosi blog post in another tab or in another window so that you are able to read and watch at the same time. Good. A good tip, right? Yes. So now that we know the three pronouns, and we have known that the subject comes before a verb and then the verb comes before an object. That is the simplest sentence structure. Yes. Good. If you have any questions, comment down below. So let's look at the elements that make up this sentence. In a sentence structure, what are the components of that structure? Good. In Chinese, we have zhu yu. That is the subject, zhu main. Yes, zhu yu. And then wei yu, the predicate, wei yu. Wei yu. And then we have bin yu, the object. So, Zhu yu, wei yu, and bin yu. Good. Today, or at this moment, let's first look at the sentences that have zhu yu. Or rather, let's look at examples of zhu yu in sentences. Zhu yu is the subject, remember. So, wo. Good. But now let's look at other subjects apart from the three pronouns that we have learned. Let's look at this example. Ta chi kenya. Yes, let's look at other subjects that can be used in sentences. For example, today is Wednesday. Jin Tian Shi Xing Chi San Jin Tian is the subject. Jin Tian Shi Zhu Yu. Another one, for example, just describing the time. Jin Nian, this year, this year, there has been. Uh, the coronavirus. Jin Nian Fa Xian Guan Zhuang Fei Yan or Jin Nian Fa Xian Guan Zhuang Bing Du. We get it? Yes, Jin Nian and Jin Tian today and this year. Another one is. Um, Maybe something like your phone. Shuji mei dian la. My phone has no charge or the battery is low. The battery charge is low. Shuji mei dian la. Yeah. So something that is being described by whatever follows it, that is what is the subject. And the subject always comes first. Good. Then we have Wei Yu is what follows the subject. Yes, so let's look at the, for example, Wo Shi Tosi. Shi is described, is like telling more about me, right? So Shi here is the predicate. Uh, 
他在看电影，在看 together， because you just you can also say 我看他看电影，看 here is the predicate， 就是谓语。嗯，另一个是什么？今天是星期三，是今年发现。发现，冠状病毒，今年发现，发现冠状病毒，了 ，good， and、uh, yeah， I think that's it for the predicate. Let's not talk much on this because I know people just want to speak Chinese, but I felt the importance of just telling you what word is what, what part of the sentence is that word. Fitting in so that when you learn all those phrases, you're able to put them in a sentence, and you'll be able to communicate with people around you. And the most important, actually, is listening. Don't just cram the the vocabularies. At least try and listen to how Chinese people are speaking or Chinese speakers generally are speaking, and then you can internalize what they are saying and be able to. To speak also, or to use whatever phrases you've learned now to communicate with them. Goodness, I hope I'm making sense. I'm not just rambling here. Yes, so that's it. Let's go to the being, being you, being you, the object. Just a few minutes ago, I said, "Ta chi keniala." You said "ta" is the subject, "chi." Is the way you that is the predicate, and then Kenya now is the object. He is gone to Kenya. Yes. Good. So I hope you are able to to get the drift, and you are able now to put those few phrases that you have learned in the past videos. And now you can be able to use them in a sentence. Good. Comment below. What do you think? Are you getting something, or there is some adjustments? Is there anything you're not getting? Comment below. Good. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it's helpful to you. Yes. In relation to the elements that form a sentence. We now come to the order in which these words appear. I had just said a subject comes first. That is very really true. And now let's see what else you need to remember when you are forming a Chinese sentence. The easiest one is what I've just talked about: that it is a subject, predicate, and then an object. Yes. And we've given examples of subjects. We've given examples of predicates, and we've given examples of objects, right? 是必须是主语、谓语、宾语 Okay, good. After getting to know the structures, the elements, let's look at a little bit of the word order. Like in that sentence. What order now is how you organize all these parts of all the elements now to form a sentence definitely. So you say the subject comes before the predicate, and then the predicate will come before the object. That is the first one. The second one is that any attribute comes before the subject or the object. Any other attribute in that sentence will come before the subject, or it will come before the the object. This is, for example, 我丈夫是会计。我丈夫，丈夫 here is the subject. 我 is attribute. It's an attribute. It's 丈夫 s attribute, just describing more about the subject. That is, 我的丈夫
Sh Lao Shi. Yes. Now the attribute here is war. I can as well just go and say Zhang Fu Shi Lao Shi. And that is a complete sentence. But now we are adding something to describe more about this Zhang Fu. Wa Zhang Fu. Now you get it, right? Wa Zhang Fu Shi Lao Shi. So that attributive or comes before the subject. And let's see where an attributive comes before an object. Um, let's look at this. Wo yu han yu shu. Wo yu han yu shu. This is where the attributive comes before the object. Wo is the subject. Yu is the predicate. And Hany is the attributive to Shu. It's describing more about the book. I hope you get it. Good. Wo Hany Shu. I have a Chinese book. Good. Then the third case. The third is where the adverbial comes before the verb predicate or the adjective predicate. For example, Ta Zao Shang Chila Kenya. Ta Zao Shang Chila Kenya. The adverb comes before the verb predicate. Ta Zao Shang Chila Kenya. Comment below if you get it. Where is the adverb bill? You get it? Zao Shang here will be the adverb bill or the adverb describing the chila, describing more about the action. That is the verb predicate. Good. Let's look at an example where the adverbial comes before the adjective predicate. Um, 这里, 真, 热闹, 这里 is the subject. 真 is the adverbial describing more about the adjective predicate rena i hope you get it let's look at the fourth situation or the fourth word order now listen to this the compliment always comes after the verbal predicate or the adjective predicate whatever you want to compliment if you're complimenting something, let it come after the predicate. It doesn't matter with a verbal or adjective or adjective predicate. Good. For example, wo lei de yao mi. Wo lei de yao mi. I am extremely tired. Wo lei. Yao me. This is a compliment describing explaining more about my being tired. Lei is tired. Wo lei da. Yao me. Yao me is sleep. It, it just wants to go with your soul. Your tiredness is beyond. So that compliment, complimenting the tiredness, comes after the verbal predicate. Lay is definitely a verb. Good. I hope you're getting something. If you have any questions, comment down below. Go follow me on WordPress to be able to understand more of these things because I'll be posting there. Concurrently, I'll be posting here because we need to have a verbal discussion and not just the written way you just read. Good. I hope you're getting something. And now, Let's get into something more interesting a bit. The I know grammar is 
so complicated sometimes even in english language or in other languages but i hope you learned something and let's get into something a bit interesting let's see the phrases that you use in day-to-day -day life because i mean you might not need that grammar right now but you might need it later if you are advancing in your chinese language mandarin language learning course or whatever so bye bye is Zai Jian. Love is I. Wo ai ni. I love you. Or Wo shi huan ni. I like you. Or uh, what else? Um, Wo hen gao xin. I am happy. Wo hen gao xin. Sorry. I am very happy. I think I have shared some phrases before that have Wohen Gaoshin. Click on this card here to learn more about interacting with people, common communication phrases, and basic phrases that you can use to communicate with your Chinese friends or your Chinese speaking community. Yes. Um, comment below what words would you like to learn in Chinese let's interact people let's get to learn a new language if you are interested mm -hmm. what else did I want to share today oh the best one my favorite word in Chinese xie xie. thank you xie xie ni. thank you and you'll reply Kochi. Or that is just like don't be too courteous or don't be too polite kochi and then huan ying ni also click on this to learn the most commonly used youtube phrases mandarin chinese youtube phrases click on this card also to learn more and don't forget mandarin with tosi blog post link is in the description box go read through what i've been sharing learn something new i've been talking like forever what are your thoughts about today's sharing let me know and share it with your people how are you doing though let me just ask this in the end now that we finished how are you coping with the corona situation? Is there lockdown in your country? What are you doing about it? Where are you? How do you feel? Like genuinely, genuinely, I really would love to know how you feel it. And um, I hope you're taking care of yourself wherever you are. Let's, if you are able to, please, you can just stay home so that those who are not able to stay at home will have at least space and not have like to get interacting with people in crowded places if you're able to stay home please stay home so that those who are not able to stay home can have this space my thoughts aha uh -huh. what else did i want to say today ah i hear china is like Wuhan is back to uh, normal operations. I wish them the best. And uh, I know there is so much coming out of China. There are so many YouTube channels talking about the con tradition that is there between the real thing on the ground and what the Chinese government is letting the world know. But men, let's wish each other the best. At this moment, ranting and I feel like it won't even help the situation. Guys, take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching this far. Xie xie ni de huan kan. Zai jian.